This might just be the most degenerate deck I've ever played in my entire life. Just wow, what a wow. Kalayuga Pendulums, if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Check out their beautiful trip gaming playmats in the description below. We only have 15 left, 10, 5, 15 left. They will be sold out. Get yours now. Now let's get started. Now with this hand over here, we're going to use Shrine. We will opt to not use Instant Fusion. We're going to save it for Pen Call Discard. We're going to the Shrine. We're not going to, as you notice there, if they drolled us right now, I couldn't care less. Cause I don't care when I'm with my baby. You still have a bunch of negates, no problem. So you don't want the Dark Worm first in that situation. Because if you Dark Worm first and then get the gate zero, you could get drolled on the gate zero and not get pen called. So you gotta be smart like that. They drove me here, I could give a less I couldn't care less. You still have infinity negates. Now we're gonna activate the Dark Worm after we clear through those cards. We're gonna normal the Celestial Magician and we're gonna pendulum summon five cards. Resolving Kali Yuga in your opponent's turn is straight up just an FTK. Uh, we're going to now link the Dark Worm, the Mascarena, and the Celestial Magician into Curious. Now, if you had level 6s, you could have easily done that as well. I could have easily just uh, make Chronograph, an uh, 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 Oaf Dragon, go into Beatrice, and that's how you send the level 3. So, you're going to send the level 3, you're going to draw a uh, Search, Add, uh, go Appalooza for two, your Raging Dragon, and then set the rank up Magic Launch. One thing to know, I forgot to mill the three up Curious, so don't forget to do that. Uh, you have the Appalooza, the Raging, the Jackal, and then on their opponent's turn, you are going to, you, uh, end phase, you're gonna add Oaf Dragon, because if you resolve Kaliuga's pop effect, you're gonna want to have a low scale, because Pen Call protects the Harmonizing Magician. So you're gonna wanna have a low scale there. So now on their turn, on the main phase, you're gonna go Kaliuga. All their effects are negated, they cannot do anything whatsoever. If they set five cards, you're gonna destroy them with this. It'll also destroy your abductor, hence you have the scales, and because you have the Appalooza, you can pendulum summon. That's the combo tutorial, and honestly, that shit's broken as hell. Now this is the deck profile. If you guys like what you saw in the comment tutorial, smash the subscribe button. Let's get hit, let's hit 27k, boys. Let's go. Deck profile time. Servant, triple abductor, the heartbeat of every, every pendulum deck. Mighty Master, Jackal, Triple Sorcerer, Time Gazer. One Harmonizing, just one of each Magician. There's a reason I'm playing this Magician, I'll explain in a bit. You don't need multiple Harmonizing, you have five Pendulum Calls. Harmonizing is not the be-all, end-all. Sometimes you don't even have space for Harmonizing because you have to set up to make sure you have two level sevens. You want to make sure you to set up to have uh, two level sixes. I know Harmonizing brings out a level six and a level seven, but sometimes there's no space for the Harmonizing itself. So, we're harmonizing at one for this build, one of this, one of Dragon Pit is level seven. Sometimes you hard draw the Dragon Pit, and now it makes level seven so much harder to get. So, you need to play two level sevens. Dra There's no dragons in this deck that's important. So, Dragon Caller is, is just not necessary to play. Uh, you could play Dragon Caller to make it a dragon if you want over Dharma Eye uh, to be able to make Mascarena. So, you can make Dragon Caller the dragon. And then uh, a spellcaster and Mascarena equals Curious. But typically, you just go into Beatrice instead of Curious. Hence, you prefer two sixes and two sevens to do the combo. That combo is three darks and two sevens. So there's so many ways to do it. And everyone that plays Pendulums knows just how damn easy it is to get two sixes and two sevens or three darks and two sevens. So that's all you need to resolve the combo. Uh, and this Dharma Eye just ensures that if you want to resolve harmonizes from your hand, you can make Dharma Eye a scale 8 or a scale 2, so it does come up. Oak Dragon, Pearl Poison, double Dark Worm, 1 gate 0. You know when something is Blue Boy, so you don't want to have too many Dark Worms. One Boots, one well, a Rank Up Launch. Uh, I keep, play only one of each in this build, uh, because Dark Worm, is, uh, if you hard draw it, it is a normal summon, so that's like four normal summons you play with all the draw power. And uh, I just want one of each for Crowley. You can't play Desires in this build because of Boots and Launch. Triple Allure, you got lots of Darks. Into the Void, Upstart, Foolish, Double Shrine. Triple Mastery, 5 pen call, Triple Instant. For those who don't know, Instant Fusion stops hand traps. Uh, for that hand, we had, we didn't need to stop Droll. We didn't have a bunch of spells. But if we had like like Upstart, Allure, lots of draw cards, I would have Instant Fusion instead. Uh, the targets are Millennium Eyes Restrict to stop the Droll and Lockbird. If you go second, you go Thousand Eyes Restrict. And then you link Karibo. Side deck, Triple Sphere, Triple Lava Golem. Six of these. I made up How to Destroy Spiral video where I described the mathematics of why you're going to win against Spiral mathematically with this side deck. I explain it in my Patreon, so check below. Uh, against backer decks, you got Reboot, Triple Lightning Storm, and Eccentric, that's five cards. If you cannot afford Lightning Storm, play Triple Denko over that. 
double village for uh, uh, Super Poly, but typically after signing, uh, uh, stop Super Poly. Dark Ruler means nothing against this deck, so you don't even need to play Secret Village, it's just there for shits and gigs. But after siding, if you fear the Super Poly, just make sure there's no Dark on the field for Rage, so Raging Dragon does not get Super Poly. Dweller for Dweller decks and Phoenix for backward decks. Crowley, IP, Skull Dread, Appaloosa, Nightmare Unicorn, Boral Sword. There's no space because you gotta have a lot for the combo. Uh, Curious, Beatrice, Absolute Raging. Now, if you you somehow cannot Raging Dragon for whatever reason, you then absolutely bring on a Vortex Dragon instead. Get another negate from that. So in the situation where you cannot do the combo for whatever reason, if you brick, if you have to allure away the boots, I don't know, some shit like that, then you're gonna your negates will be Appaloosa, Vortex, Jackal, and Mighty Master. So you're still gonna have the negates. So it's not just an FTK deck. You still do everything Pendulum does normally, but if you have access to boots and rank up, you just go for FTK. Going second, you side out the boots and rank up, and you can put Phoenix and Dweller in going second instead. So those are the options for going second. Uh, and we also have the yeah, uh, Kali Yuga, the main part of the combo. Next, we have Lake Karibo, Millennium Eyes Restrict, and Thousand Eyes Restrict. So these are big, especially because after you negate a, negate a Hand Trap of money, Millennium Eyes Restrict, after you steal a monster with Thousand Eyes going second, you could have both to make Crowley, because they're spellcasters, or if you hard draw secrets or knowledge, use it on this to save your normal summon for Dark Worm or Empyrean Magician. And then after, if you don't, if you're just sitting there or something, you need the extra monster zone, you can always go to Link Karibo. So the combo works out very easy and typically plays through all hand traps. And if they do hand trap you into oblivion, you still got the typical pendulum the gates. I'm a big fan of how this combo works. Every hand can do it. I'm going to shuffle three times and show you guys the first five cards over here. So you got into the uh, those lines into the void, instant fusion, dark worm, jackal. This five over here, easy. This is the full combo, no problem. Like, this is the full combo through uh, uh, any hand trap because you're going to have Millennium Eyes. You're going to shuffle this up again, do the exact same thing. Secrets, Allure, Rank Up. You drew the Rank Up here, so it sucks. Allure and Time Gazer, that's totally fine. This is, you're drawing six times in this turn. So even hard drawing the Rank Up makes your job even easier, to be honest. Now you don't have to Beatrice. So now all you got to do is just uh, go into two level sevens. So with this hand, you're going to draw six times. Because uh, Blue Boy and Double Allure. So you're redrawing a whole hand. So we're going to look at the next six. Uh, obviously, it's going to be different. So you got to look at the next six cards. Even though they all, they would be amazing to draw. Like, remarkable. So if you were to draw the next six because you're drawing six cards, you, you're you just going to win, bro. Like, this, this hand's actually amazing. So every hand does it. Like, if you shuffle up, every single hand is going to do the combo. In the future, I'm going to keep testing this build. And if uh, it gives success for me, I will test it at a regional and see how it goes then because i do believe that this version of kali Yuga does have a chance to to really just change the game for pendulums if you guys like this video smash the subscribe button let's get this video to 500 likes and if you guys want to help support your boy check out a beautiful trip game play map up above go follow my instagram down below and check out trip game membership if you guys are into pendulums hope you like the video and we'll see you in the next video peace